right, guys, welcome back. <clears throat> Today's Sunday. We're doing a little cleaning. Um, it's been a long week. It's been a very busy week. And we're in the service truck. So, anyway, um, you can tell she's pretty loaded. Um, this was full of dust. I had to clean it as best as I can. We just did. But today's video is going to be about pull out drawers, specifically C Tech. This, this drawer is one that you hardly ever see on a service truck, which is the one over the wheel well. Um, this truck came outfitted with a two drawer. I wish it would have had a, be honest with you, I wish it would have had drawers all the way to the top. It would have, or at least to about right here, which would have been another two drawers. But anyway, regardless, it's, it's a two drawer. That's the way the, the truck was specced out. Um, so let's talk about the Sea Tech. Uh, first of all, when it comes to service trucks, 50% of the trucks, uh, when they're ordered, they're not ordered with toolboxes. Guys have to go down to Lowe's or whatever, and they have to buy a toolbox and shove it in there. And of course, they're not made for service trucks, and they take a beating, they fall apart. Back in the day, you know, everybody would go to Sears and buy a Craftsman and just put a Craftsman top chest or whatever they could find at work. And after two or three years, they'd just be literally falling apart. This C-Tech has been, uh, it's a year old now, so it's a one-year review. So let's take a look. First of all, the handle, very smooth. The mechanism, um, it's, let's see if we can pull it all the way out. Uh, you can't see it, but right here you see the mechanism. It's a, it's a latch bar. As you can tell, the drawer is holding some weight. I mean, these are big tools. So they slide, as you can tell. The rollers, the, the shafts, the slides, been holding up pretty good. The uh, the bottom, you know, we got it specked out. I mean, we got it with some stuff in it. Closes smooth. The one thing I do like about them is you have to, you don't have to, it latches by itself. I know there's some, I've had some where you have to, you know, like the ones that you have that you pull this way, like that, they have the, the thing. You have to pull them sometimes because they don't latch or you have to, you know, the thing is you want to be gentle. You don't want to be slamming them like this one. Look, it doesn't take, it doesn't take very much. Same thing with the one on top that's full of tools. One year later, one finger latches. Um i think i think this is I, I don't know if this is a c tech option or not this is all the hardware stuff uh pretty basic but sometimes basic is better because uh, there's a lot of weight right here with the hardware i believe this is part of c tech but anyway uh bolt holder bin i wish uh it would have been a little bit more wider you know so these could be bigger but it is what it is i think these they they try to make so many to make to cover so many uh different types of bodies this is probably for a more narrow body that's why you have the adjustable drawers on top so there's that and of course we get to the we get to the big one to the to the double white again c tech brand uh let's see we get a measuring tape real quick so about 30 30 and a half 31 and a half inches of, of, of a tool drawers and let's see the other way around they're 27 inches wide there you go for those of you that are wondering again uh this one you can see the mechanism how it works um uh, I think this is plastic. I kind of had some concerns about that, but it's like everything else. I mean, you know, if, if you if you take a hydraulic press to an anvil, you're gonna destroy it. So you gotta be gentle, you know. Um, the mechanism, nice. The slides, one year later, still holding up. Um, can't really beat it. And you know, they're, every one of them. It's pretty good. It's holding up. No problems. They do have dividers. And then right here are some of the heavier sockets on the deeper drawer. Um, 
you know, it does make a big difference. You know, if you're organized, you're more efficient. If you're more efficient, you're more productive. And if you're more productive, you're, uh, you know, ahead of the game. They do have dividers for the drawers, like I said. But the thing is, I just, I just, this is the way I have my setup. Uh, it's just the way it is right here. I'm using some of the drawers. Um, very nice. This is a very nice uh, uh, outfitting of the service truck with the SeaTech. I have had different, like I said, I've had a lot of service trucks and over half of them didn't come with no toolboxes. You had to put, put your own, you know, and uh, that, that just never worked out too good. But SeaTech manufacturing, uh, two slides over a year later, um, you know, they're still holding out. Most times, uh, depending the, the 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 biggest thing on on any of these uh, toolboxes for service trucks is the mechan the mechanism the latching mechanism. Uh, you seen the ones that are spring loaded? They go like this, you know. They they just go in like that. You got this, you know, or they'll have like the the handle in the middle and it has two bars coming across, and you squeeze it and then it opens and then when you close it, those are okay. Uh, it's a positive lock, but I've had where like the nuts or the hardware starts coming loose. Um, you know, and you do have to be careful, uh, you know, I guess, you know, the, the more rougher you are, the, the quicker the things wear and tear, uh, these C techs, I mean, you know, let's see, this is, this is probably one of my heavier drawers. Uh, I mean, with one finger, with one finger, I mean, you know, the pinky, um, it's, it's. Highly recommend it, worth the investment. Um, and the thing is, it's hard mounted to your to the truck. And you don't have to worry about it falling out. Um, I think anyone who's been a field mechanic for any length of time has had the dreaded door swing open when you make a turn. And if your stuff's not bolted down, if your stuff's not held down properly, if you made something happen, these and that's happened to me not on this truck, but on an older truck, a Ford. I had a Craftsman toolbox that the whole toolbox fell out and wrenches went flying everywhere. And that was disaster. But anyway, this is a review of the SeaTech one year review. Uh, thanks for watching. Leave a comment. What kind of toolboxes do you prefer?